Donna Milla Gibson, will we have an upset? Brewing Friday in night, heat number two, Bob. We saw it in the heat race number one, a Cinderella story. Will we see it in heat race number two? Beautiful. 
facility, facility Lucas Oil Speedway. What a year he had last year, you know, second in the points in the rookie of the year. He's 52nd in the Tom Camp's top list winner, second in the world winner at Eldora. Key events that Elias said on the front row to Eldora last year. How about that? The top two rookies last year. Front row for the world winner. How about that? Sadler is a former winner. Acres down just a couple of years ago. He picked off the win with the Lucas Hawley Final Dirt Series. Uh, he's up from that neck of the woods, knows that racetrack like the back of his hand, and certainly proved it on that night. Great shot of the helicopter there. It looks like we're racing in the daytime. It's so it well lit here at Lucas Oil Speedway. Well, Mason Ziegler. got to be that was a hard hit in that sports car bob that was a hard leg by gorby down there in the number nine the safety team for the lucas Ali model dirt series attending to gorby down there in the corner let's take a look at exactly what happened he got up on two wheels like evil knievel and then just could not get the car turned and went hard into the wall with the right front yeah, unfortunately, the safety equipment uh, holding up very well, obviously, the they, right they had a neck restraint, of course, they have the self-containment seats, SFI certified, and uh, Gorby there, the veteran driver, he uh, comes to us out of Bartlesville, Oklahoma, he is okay, word from the track as we saw it there, so... A lot of fanfare. fanfare here at Lucas Oil Speedway. You can see a good crowd on hand and the midway as well. Get your favorite drivers and series t-shirts. Um, just uh, beautiful. The concession stands, so much good food. They got a bar here as well for a little bit later on in the night. Uh, so uh, people just enjoy coming here. And you see the go-kart track uh, to the left of the tower there. Uh, so that not only the kids, but even people like you and me can have a little fun and race themselves. No doubt about it. Hey, if you're watching and you're close you know, not that far away. Come on out tomorrow. Going to be a great weather forecast. We have the Dirt Racing Outreach Shirt Service at 415. Autograph session for all the drivers under the tent as well. Following that, and then B mains that Midwest Sheet Metal Challenge here tomorrow night. Can Bobby Pierce make it two in a row? If he wins that heat number four tonight, he's going to be on the front row here tonight of the tribute to Don and Billy Gibson as we got the hook on the nine of the Bartlesville, Oklahoma driver. I've been checking out my Twitter feed. A lot of people yes, sir. us here tonight, and also we see a lot of Facebook uh, messages as well. Use the hashtag LORTV to talk about what you're seeing tonight. Tweet your seat. We want to see the pets. We want to see the kids. How about Josh's kid right here? That is awesome. Uh, Team Zero, they're rooting for Scott Bloomquist, who will start shotgun on the field in heat race number three uh, Tyler Summerlin right there checking things out uh, that might be a little bit dangerous right there I gotta admit there Tyler but uh, yeah kudos to you for being a dedicated racing fan Nathan Rowe a big Brandon Shepard and Scott Bloomquist fan and uh, taking some photos recently here with some of his favorite drivers yeah, and that's pretty cool it is the Cody. grandstand. Yeah, our buddy, no, no, no. Summer, our buddy Cody Summer there from uh, Charlotte. There you go. Look at that. Cody there with... You were uh, there last night. Mansfield. Yep. And look at that big... So, so,
did, but heckin' ass was not able to do so. Well, good. Hard racing out in it. You know, they're trying to get it into the Show Me 100, folks. I mean, this is a crown jewel event, the first crown jewel of the event of the year in Dirt Lane Auto Racing. And uh, raced that a lot of drivers want to win. There's, what, 12 drivers have won this race in the first 26 years, 25 years. And uh, Frank Eckenass Jr., the Illinois veteran, second-generation driver. His dad, driver for many years up at Kankakee, Santa Fe, those racetracks. As he'll head to the back. There's the go. There it is. We got you out there later, James. Yeah, we got some rubbing going on out there. Yes, we do. Wow. Some good racing right there. Not only on the dirt track, but the paved track for the go-karts here at Lucas Oil Speedway. Great shot from our Lucas Oil chopper here high above Wheatland, Missouri. I think one thing, though, they will black on that track. They can bump somebody on purpose, and they will do that. I think I was You get a warning. <laughs> These guys are rubbing sheet metal in this sea race. Indeed they are. And that was a battle for fourth. It wasn't even a battle for the transfer spot. Well, Ziegler still leads the Slater's Merrill. Ober Kramer got he's up to fifth. Then Kate Bournemouth.